Gary from Gaz Decay's Model Works. I uh, hope you're all doing alright. Um, this video is in response to Dirk Pitt's question for the community on uh, Show Us Your Stash. Um, I've been really enjoying looking at everybody else's um, stashes and seeing what they've got. I think we all like to um, have a nosy around and see what other people's model kits they've got and interests. And I find it very interesting anyway. So I'm going to swing the camera around in a bit so you can see what I've got. Uh, this might be a long video. I've got quite a few um, oldish kits, as anybody that followed my channel for a while will know. So, um, yeah, right, let's get that done. Uh, just turn the camera around, guys, and I'll be with you in a sec. Okay, guys, right, welcome to the uh, stash. Um, we're going to start. We're going to start here. Um, these are the more modern kits. Um, that I've got, that I've picked up over the years. There's a few older ones in amongst this lot. Um, we'll go on to the vintage stuff in a minute. And I've also got um, some more kits in the laundry cupboard, uh, which I'm going to have to get the torch for. So yeah, let's give you an idea. I mean, there's a bit of a mixture of all sorts here. Um, a lot of these kits, you know, I've been on the search for for a long time. Um, I like my AMT kits, MPC kits. They're not the best, I know that, but... Um, I quite like them. So yeah, we've got a bit of all sorts here. Some of the more modern stuff, like the Ravel kits, I quite like them. Some of the newer AMT reissues. Let's get these boxes out of the way a sec. Sorry guys. Camera's probably shaking around a lot. So yeah, here we go. There's the old Anna cart down there. Not the original, unfortunately, but... Yeah, we've got a bit of... Um, I like the super stock drag cars, I like these um, free AMT kits. I'm really into those sort of um, builds. So yeah, it gives you an idea. I mean, my tastes are really eclectic, to be honest you. I'll build a bit of everything car-wise. Not really into the modern stuff. I like muscle cars, as you can see, and some 50s classics, I suppose. But a few NASCARs. A couple of old 70s kits chucked in, the old street machines. Chevelle. Well, that kit's been reissued about a thousand times since then. Oops, sorry guys. So there's more modern Revel, Revel kits. Uh, the Fireball Model Works. Fireball Model Works. That's the bloke that does the resin stuff. What a prat. <laughs> the Fireball Roberts 57 Forward I'm actually building at the moment. Not that kit, but I'm building another one for a friend. Like a commission build, if you like. So yeah, that's the more uh, modern stuff. Um... So let's show you a bit of the stuff in the laundry cupboard. So you have to bear with me guys, sorry about the camera shaking and all that. Oh here's some uh, old Joanne Turbine car and a couple of old Joanne promos. These are 59 Plymouth and a 59 Caddy. Uh, I've got a glass cabinet here which has got some of my built models in. Um, a couple of Mustangs, Camaros, uh, Buick, Tornado, Corvette, Chevelle, another Chevelle, the old Dodge 330. Uh, that um, Nomad Gasser is one of the oldest kits I've got built in my collection. I built that probably 20 odd years ago. Um, and the old Ford LTD on the right hand, the pickup in the back, the Junker pickup. I did these two on the left. Um, our German um, Plymouth Fury police car and the Ford I think it's a C600 AMT kit they were built by a friend back in the 70s so I've inherited those so let's go to the linen cupboard um, I have to excuse the mess in this cupboard guys I'm going to have to use a torch in here um, but we've got uh, the new Hasegawa BMW 2002 Ti guy kit, which is probably one of the newest kits I've got. Um, down here we've got a collection of, whoops, the old Revell Pro Modeler kits. A Torino, full convertible, a couple of those Corvettes, a really nice kit. Charger, Daytona Charger. And then going up, um, we've got um, some Bentleys, Minis, Cobras, Chargers, more Minis. Couple of the old AMT kits. And in the corner over there we've got a 
Vale London bus kit. Um, I'll forget up the top. There's an old Fujimi mini kit. Uh, Joe's service station. Some Hado kits. Chevy Impala. Don't know what's on top. I can't even see it. I think it's the. Oh yeah, it's the old VW Beetle kit. The old um, IMC kit. A couple of old truck kits. And there's the old diamond in the rough kit, which is, uh, I've had that for years, really nice kit. Um, Bedford, Ford Transit, Ford Escort, Rally Car. Uh, that's the old Trumpeter Chevy Nova. So that's those guys. And uh, just bear with me a second, we'll go and have a look at the vintage stuff. Right, so this is uh, the start of the vintage kits. Um, what we've got here basically is um, a load of plastic boxes which are full of rebuilders. Uh, this is the thing I like to do the most, to be honest, is build an old glue bomb and strip the paint off of it and then rebuild it. Um, that way you can get some pretty rare models for a decent amount of you know, money, rather than paying silly money for them. So um, we've got a, I think that's a, yeah, AMT 65 Riviera. Uh, let's have a quick look through these boxes, see what we've got. Um... Um, 64 Falcon AMT kit, hard top. And that is a Johan 65 or 66 AMC Marlin. I think it's a 66, not sure. And that is a Johan 64 Dodge Polara. Again, so, so these are all rebuilders. I know it'll get done at some point. Uh, you might have seen that Marlin actually was in the old video of mine from a while back. Okay, in this one we've got, um, what's that, uh, oh it's Johan 69 AMX, and again I've inherited, I've got an engine for it because the engine was missing but it's all ready to go, and uh, that's an MPC uh, 67 GTO, and then we've got a few bits and pieces in there, that's an old um, body test body, it's like a mid-engine dragster that somebody built back in the 60s on a GTO and an old it's a 49 Ford then there's a stock car so that's the note next one we've got um, that is a 66 Buick um Skylark, Grand Sport. Uh, pretty rare kit, if you can find one. Uh, I managed to find one and pick one up nicely and stripped all the paint off it. So it's all there, even though it looks ridiculously bad. It's, it's all there, ready to be rebuilt. Um, what's this? It's a 64 Tempest GTO AMT. And we've also got a 64 Tempest convertible. Again, it's an old AMT annual kit. Oh, in the way there, <laughs> um, next one, got quite a few as you can see. That's a 63 or 64 Buick Riviera, um, 64 Chevelle, uh, which is actually a promo, which um, I've got the bits to restore. Um, I think that's another 63 or 4 Riviera. A couple more Rivieras than I thought I had. So this is what happens when you don't realise what you've actually got, isn't it? Um, this is the last box of unboxed rebuilders. So we've got a 66 Mustang Fastback, the old AMT annual. Uh, that is a 66 um, Plymouth Barracuda AMT. That is a 67 Thunderbird. That is a, what is that? Oh, that's a 67 uh, MPC 67 Dodge Charger. Um, again, is the original 
issue of it. This is a rare one. Um, it's a Johan 1965 Chrysler 300. It's a rare old kit these days, that one. And a 62, I think it is, 62 uh, Ford pickup AMT long bed Ford star side pickup, which I, I was after one of these for a long, long time. So, yeah, that's those guys. So yeah, as you can see, there's quite a few, uh, enough to keep me busy for the next hundred years or so, if I manage to live that long, which I won't, obviously. You know what us guys are like, we can't stop buying kits, can we? Um, these are rebuilders which haven't been um, stripped of paint um, and whatnot yet. So we've got an old NPC, I think that's a 72 Dodge Challenger. Um, but it was a drag car. Way back. Some interesting colours used on this one. <laughs> Purple exhaust, very nice. Um, an old Corvette, uh, I think it's a 65. Uh, again, done as a gasser, which is done quite well, but the, the wheels have started to uh, melt, as you can see. That was quite a common problem on these old kits. These tyres reacted with the with the with the rubber on them. Uh, an old '60s trailer. I think that came with the Ford pickup. Actually, you saw in the other box. Um, there's the hood for the uh, for the Challenger. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a promo. It's a Johan 69 GTX, Plymouth GTX promo. Uh, quite nice. Uh, that is the colour of the plastic. Um, it's like a gold, like a, br a bronzy sort of colour. Very nice. It's a 64 AMT Chevelle station wagon. Um, 75 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Something like that. 64 Buick Riviera, another one. You can tell I like Buick Rivieras, can you? Um, 59 Buick, um, I think it's an Invicta, something like that. These are cool looking cars, I love these. I've been after one of these for a long, long time. But um, you know, the paint's rough, but I can strip all that paint off, that's not a problem, get that redone. This is one of the early kits that doesn't have the engine, it's got the, um, it's all moulded into the base plate, very, it's like promo sort of, really. And the last one is a 1960 Pontiac. I don't know if it's a Bonville or. Could be. Does it say on there? Oops. Bonville. There we go. Yeah, it is a Bonville. So it's a 1960 Plymouth Wide Track. So yeah, it's a pretty cool looking car. What's happened to my camera? It won't focus anymore. There we go. So that's those. It doesn't end there. Oh. Right, let's take you over to the vintage boxed kit pile. Oh. Okay, now there's a bit of all sorts over here. There's some newer kits as well, um, interspersed. There's some like the um, some of these kits, the Mobius kits as such, are um, they're obviously all new kits which have been in the last couple of years. Um, I love Mobius kits, I've only built a couple, but they are very, very nice kits. Got a couple of the old AMT rescue vans. Um, that one there is the reissue, that is the original. The original's got some differences. Can be built as a window van. Uh, one reissue there, the old Dodge Bad Company van. That's an original early 70s, 72, 73 Dodge custom van, which is, has been built. Um, and it needs to be redone. A couple of old AMT kits. Some of the reissues AMT they've done over the couple of years. Um, there's an old pyro kit there. Frog AMT, which is the um, basically is a 1968 Mustang AMT annual kit uh, reboxed for Frog in the UK. Um, same as that above is an MPC 67 Ford Mustang kit boxed for Airfix for the UK. A couple of old Joanne Classics. Uh, that one there I actually picked up today at a car boot sale. Uh, car boot sale is like a flea market to you guys. Um, um, cost me £6. It's complete as well. £6 is I don't know, $8. So I've got a good deal on it. Um, an old Matchbox AMT Bronco. Uh, that's a, I think that's a 68 Mustang AMT annual in that box. 
Uh, Joanne kits, I like Joanne kits. These a lot of these are rebuilders, so they got built models in the boxes, um, such as you know, they're all ready to be rebuilt. A lot of these you'll see are rebuilders. Um, there are some mint kits as well. Um, so yeah, we got that's a mint kit. That's a mint kit. That's a mint kit. So is that one of that one's a rebuilder. Um, this one's a very rare kit, uh, Rebel Machine, these days. So these these get a bit more difficult to get hold of. Another Marlin, Superbird, uh, 69 Roadrunner, Chrysler 300, Dodge 330. That's a parts kit, that one. Not much in that one at all, Chrysler 300. That's the old IMC Mustang 2. A couple of old AMT early 70s uh, Impala Fire Chief cars. Uh, 1970 Camaro and a 76 Camaro. Uh, it's got some MPC kits here. Um, there's the 1962 annuals. We've got a Pontiac convertible there as a rebuilder. And that's an absolutely mint kit, that Corvette. It's like new. Um, T Bird restorable kit. Uh, that one is restorable. That one is pretty much new, as is that one. Uh, that's a 68 Galaxy kit in that box. Uh, those two are built up. And so is this one, which is a uh, early 60s Chrysler Valiant. But it's been built really nice. Um, built really nice. You know, interesting looking car. But um, considering I was built probably in the 70s, I think he built this and it's done very well. So nice. Yes. But um, I do love my vintage kits. You know, I can come up here sometimes, just grab a beer, come up, sit down, and just. Uh, Daydream over these. A <laughs> um, couple of 67 Toronados. Um, they're both. Um, the box on that is absolutely horrendous. But that one there is absolutely mint. That's a mint untouched kit, as is that Grand Prix. That's the reissue 63 Thunderbird that AMT did a while back. Uh, 65 Thunderbird, that one's built up. Um, 65 Coronet, very rare kit. Uh, that one's restorable. Couple of 65 Monaco's, again both restorable. That is a mint untouched kit. Um, that is probably knocking a hundred and eighty, two hundred dollar kit. These two uh, old early Johan 64, 65 kits. That's the original issue with the turbine car. 65 Barracuda. Been after one of those for a long time. Um, 64 Falcon convertible. That's a mint kit, as are these two Thunderbird kits. These are um, as new inside. This is the old um, original issue of the 32 Ford kit. There's that one and that one there. They're the late 50s issues of the AMT kits that we all know. Um, so, Ford Capri, uh, or Mercury Capri it is in the, in the US. Um, I bought this mostly for the box art. It's Bonnie and Clyde. It's got bullet holes in it. Um, over the front box hole. Quite like that one. 65 Galaxy. And the old 65 El Camino pickup with the full camper. A couple of 80s, late 70s, 80s MPC kits. Um, these two original, 72 and 74, completely untouched. That one there. It's restorable, that one is also restorable. This one here, if I can get it out of it, everything falling over, which I probably can't. This kit is still factory sealed, um, or it was when I bought it. Um, one of my holy grail kits is this one. Um, it was still cellophane wrapped from 1967. Um, it's the AMT Mercury Cougar kit. Um, probably sacrilege to some, it was a sealed kit but I actually cut it because I wanted to see what was inside of it. Why not, it's my kit. <laughs> um, I don't think I can take the lid off this one, not with one hand anyway. No, very difficult, in a sense, let's put this uh, tripod down a sec. Cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a nice original 
untouched. I mean, I've bagged the parts because I don't want to get them scuffed up, but there's a nice original 67 Mercury Cougar kit. And that is about it, I believe. Um, underneath there, we've got a couple of the old AMT trader kits. Um, yeah, there we go. That is about it, guys. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So there's an awful lot there to take in, a lot of older stuff, I'm really well into my older kits. Um, that is, you know, for me, I'm, I'm, in, I'm a kit collector, I suppose, I like to collect them, I like to have them. But nothing in this stash, nothing you see in front of you is um, sacred. I will build all of it, if I had the time, and I will, I'm not planning to sell it on to someone else. So, um, yeah, these are, um, that's my stash, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you soon with an update and tell you what's doing. There's not much happening at the moment on the bench. You know, summer's still very busy for me. So, uh, yep, we'll be back soon, guys, with a proper update. All right, you all take care. See you soon. Bye.